Hey, this is David Cole, Mike David Buildings. Just to uh, help you all with some other videos. Hopefully you'll watch the others, you know, before you watch this one about how to properly put these uh, adjustable ground stands together. Uh, the main important thing though is these quick release bolts, just to make sure that you get them placed right and you're always having them in that down position and in the seat. It's very important. And then when you're putting them on, you got the spacer, you'll get different size spacers depending on the uh, flange of the steel you know so that way you'll get a good nice better bite and uh, and then I've got my I always recommend making a template for the bow and the stern you can just take a piece of wood 25 inches on the stern make a center point that way you have a center point on the stern side and then you can just line up the center point and then that way when you put your clips you can put your clips up against it and then you'll have the same thing here you know for the bow and the bow is going to be 21 inches and then you'll still have the same just mark it bow that way you'll have a template so you can easily get them adjusted for the pre-adjustment but like i said definitely make sure that you uh have these um quick release bolts and all that right so that way when you work them you know it may go a little bit they need to go all the way down and then like i said those plate those uh, spacers need to go between the plates now that's that's the main important thing so what we're going to do is we're going to show about the boards and installing the boards properly you want to make sure on these ground stands because your stern is going to have that uh label on it 45k uh label that's on the stern and then the bow and you want to make sure that from the stern to the bow that these stands are no greater than 15 feet apart no greater than 15 feet apart so that way you can uh, maintain your 45 okay but what you want to do you know for the boards is i'll get a template okay and uh and then you'll notice how how i've routed you know these boards because you don't need to really cut them all you got to do is just take that sharp edge it's like here where it still has that sharp sharp edge on it i kind of routered the rest of it but you just get you a quarter inch router it's real simple you know that uh and i mean that's all you want to do is just take off a sharp edge and, and router around the board and what you want to do you want to go all the way around it you know so that way you get the front side too, so if you kind of scuff on the board, you're not going to hurt the bottom of the boat. But I just finished this one out. But that's all you need to do, just take it off that sharp edge, off the, off the wood. But like I said, they'll come, you know, I have a template that'll come with it so you can mark the holes in the board. And uh, after, you know, like I said, you got it routered. You know, most common when you have 22 foot boards or even, you know, 20 foot boards, you know, you'll mark two foot. But when you start getting around the 18 and less, like these boards are 16 foot. And then what you want to do is just mark over, get your tape measure and square. Then you'll come on the side that you just routered, okay? And then you'll mark over 18 inches, one foot six, okay? Make your mark. And then you'll just take your speed square, just mark the top of it here. And then you'll get the template, okay? That goes up against the bottom, but then you'll, there'll be a notch in it. And, uh, and then you'll just line up that notch and this with flush with the bottom of the board. Get it up there in place. And then once you got it in place, go ahead and mark your holes. Because the reason why you want to do it on this side, the side that's going up against the plate, is if your drill goes in an angle, it's not going to matter because your bolts will still come and they'll line up. That's why it's good to have the template. So that way you get it right. Okay. And, uh, you know, you'll get, 
half inch carriage bolts, but I always recommend getting uh, a five eighths bit. Get you a long, like seven inch, five eighths wood drill bit. Then that way you can come right on in here, line them up. See, like I said, if you get off a little bit, it's not gonna matter because you're starting from the side that you're gonna put up against the, the clip. Once you get them drilled, of course I've already done the other side, but you just repeat. And then after you repeat, then you'll get the board and all that kind of lined up. Now, like I say, you want to just try to line them up as close as you can, okay? And then you'll tilt your board up. Okay, then I have like a little, little spud wrench, a little handy little tool. So that way you can just make sure that you got her good and lined up, get your carriage bolt. So it helps to line it up. And see, and even if that hole's a little crooked, it doesn't matter. It lines right on up if you do it on the side that's going up against it. Then you take your half inch carriage bolts, get them all slide in. Perfect. And then what you want to do, you can take like even a regular ratchet. Or I just got a low resolution three-quarter inch power thing. And what you want to do is just bring the carry bolt into the wood just a little bit. Just where it sinks in a little bit. You don't want it to sink in far, you know. And then, like I said, the same thing and all that there on the other side. And, you know, that's how you'll install these uh, these boards and you'll get it right. Especially using, you know, like I said, that template makes it real easy and simple to get these, you know, put on there. Hope this helps you all out and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you.